Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is inspired by someone on my TikTok page that asked me if I've ever made a video like this. So if you're interested in hearing my favorite secular homeschool books and curriculum, just go ahead and keep on watching. So just for reference, for anyone that doesn't know, just how Christian curriculum is labeled or classified under Christian curriculum. There's also curriculum that is secular, meaning that it doesn't have a whitewashing in history. And then also because typically, historically, usually the more Christian a curriculum is, the more it's gonna have whitewashing. And also science, obviously that uh, when people are looking for secular science curriculum, they're not looking for creationist curriculum, if that makes sense. So if you guys are new to homeschooling or maybe you don't homeschool at all, but you just, you're kind of curious and on why there's that factor between secular and Christian that is a little tiny uh, explanation. So this is not in any particular order and I'm gonna start out with a really easy one that I've talked about a lot on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about this curriculum that I'm gonna show you guys, just go on my homeschool playlist. I'm sure I have a couple of videos talking about uh, this curriculum. So we have been using Torchlight for two, three, Three, going on three years now and we have the pre-k that we just started this year with my preschooler I have a third grader and a fourth grader for reference so we are using the preschool one I have the level two that we used last year and we're still like using it, uh, using the resources and stuff from this curriculum. We also have level three that we've been using this year, but I don't use it like religiously, just like <laughs> religiously. <laughs> I don't use it like I've been using pre-K where I follow it to a T and I did that with level two, but we didn't finish level two. So that's why I've been going back and forth from level two to level three using resources and just making it our own, which is a huge plus when you get Torchlight. So a little bit about Torchlight, it is a literature-based curriculum. It's not like an open and go. It doesn't give you scripts and tells you exactly what to say. It's affordable because it is downloadable. So as soon as you buy it, you can get it to your email, you can download it, you can look at it, put it on your iPad, send it to get printed, print it yourself. That's why it's on the affordable side. It doesn't include any books or anything to go along with it. You just get the curriculum, the weekly spreads, you get some worksheets in here that go along with the curriculum, but this is just kind of like what it looks like. This is the weekly spread and it kind of gives you the subjects with what books go along that week with that subject. And then it will also give you a detailed weekly spread. So it includes literature, poetry, reading, writing, social studies, history, science, geography, and this one in particular is the logic and legends one. This one, the pre-K is curiosity and character. So it's funny because I don't have the kinder one. I only have pre-K level two and level three. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna be getting the other levels once my preschooler is ready for the kinder one and then the level one. I love Torchlight. I can't say more good things about Torchlight. It is a secular curriculum. It will tell you on the front here, it says literature based secular curriculums merely for the book list, the alternates, the extension options. This is a great curriculum for all types of homeschoolers just because you can extend these, you can add things, you can switch things out and they they give you recommendations for everything. So this is the book list. All of the levels have an extensive book list it stars all of the spines it will let you know if it has if there is an audiobook available in the actual download that you get you have hyperlinks included all throughout the curriculum so you can just click it and go straight to whatever uh, video or anything like that along with the spines there are you know activities there are series recommendations recommendations for reading and writing and math so they recommend logic of english which is where we learned about logic of English and we've been using it ever since we've been using Torchlight. So that is another curriculum, Logic of English, which is a phonics based language arts curriculum. Also we use Beast Academy for a little bit, but we primarily use 
Singapore mask. So I personally only buy the spines and I feel like that works out perfectly for us. I also use my Audible app to see if there are any audiobooks. And a lot of these books that I'm gonna show you guys are books that were recommended through the Torchlight curriculum. So that's Torchlight. It, it's great. It's worth the 50 bucks. These next three are science-based. So the first one I want to show you guys is this amazing evolution book. It's a beautiful book. Uh, the Journey of Life, What Makes a Fish a Fish, Why Do Giraffes Have Such Long Necks, How Can All Living Things From Plants, Tigers, and Mushrooms to Dragonflies, Octopuses, and Humans Be Related? Evolution holds the answers to these and many, many more questions about life on Earth. So this has been our go-to science book about evolution. We are currently using this now. We did it two years ago and we're cycling back around. This one as well. I got them because I bought a fellow homeschool, secular homeschool mom, Alex, uh, from homeschool of Bel Air. She has a YouTube channel. She also has an Instagram and she has this curriculum on her teacher pay teachers that I bought and these are the spines that are recommended for that curriculum. It goes along with these books. So this one also when the whales walked They're just so beautiful Amazing resources that have so much information, but they're also visibly appealing and the kids really like looking at the pictures and reading all the descriptions. So amazing evolution and when the whales walked. Okay, so I only have the Earth and Environment by the Rural Science Odyssey uh, company curriculum. These are great resources for science. Uh, they give you everything you need to know. It's very interactive. Make something, build something almost every lesson and then it also, but it's also very informative and it gives you all the information. So this one is a level one, grades one through four. So if you are also new to homeschooling, you'll start to realize that a lot of homeschool curriculum or curriculum that is geared towards homeschoolers is like a range, a grade grade range or age range, one of the two. So this one, it says it's for grades one through four. Uh, and it says that Real Science Odyssey is a rigorous and complete science series. Each book in the RSO series provides a curriculum that is written for use indoors and out. It covers the microscopic as well as the macroscopic and it is sequential with each unit building upon the previous one. It says that the series systematically presents important science skills at age appropriate levels, including scientific methods, scientific modeling, observation skills, analytical skills, and mathematics. So I do feel like you would, you do need other resources to go along with this just for reference, because there's not a lot of pictures. It says that it's to be used one to three times a week. That is this one in particular. They have all kinds of science units. So yeah, like I said, we only have Earth and Environment, but I highly recommend this one as well. Okay, so I had to go run out and get this one. So this is A Child Through Time. We're currently using this one. We've used this one in the past here and there, but we're using it twice a week right now. And I created a worksheet that I use to go along with each child that we're reading about each day. So if you guys want that, that's in my link tree. If you guys have this book or you get this book, I have it in there for free on my link tree. Just to show you guys how cute this book is, how beautiful the pictures are. It is one of the kids' favorite books right now. So we're doing like two children each day, each week, not each day. <laughs> so this falls under the history subject category. And to be honest, anything that is published by DK Publishing it is great for secular homeschoolers. So highly, highly recommend the any DK. We have a bunch and honestly, I just could not bring them all out here. We have science ones, we have the elements, we have some that we haven't even used yet because they're not there yet. Every time I find a DK book on a different topic or subject, I pick it up always. So yeah, recommend any any DK books. 
And these next two books are also DK publishing books. So you'll see what I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about. So this is also helpful to go along with the A Child Through Time, A City Through Time. These are amazing panoramic pictures by the award-winning artist Steve Noon show how a city is transformed over 2,500 years. Incredibly detailed cutaway scenes reveal the hustle and bustle of city life from a day at the Roman baths to rush hour in the modern metropolis. Absorbing illustrations make you want to return to them again and again each time spotting a new detail. So let me show you guys the inside. It's like this temple. And where is this? In Greece. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's so much detail and there's also tiny notes kind of showing what certain things, giving like a title to certain things if you can't tell. And also it kind of shows what was common back then. And it shows dressing for dinner, you know, needle workers, jewelers, confectioners, like things that are not common in our day and age. So that's awesome too. Um, it's the same with the A Child Through Time. It's very similar to where it's very detailed, but also there are lots of little notes throughout all the pictures. The kids love to use the magnifying glass to look closer at the pictures because they're so detailed. And then this last one is a geography book and it is called When on Earth? History as you've never seen it before. So from the Ice Age to the French Revolution and from the invention of the wheel to the moon landing, stunning historical maps show you what happened when on Earth. Shows you a big map. And this one is very thorough. We're definitely gonna use this soon um, and I'll make like a worksheet or something for it or maybe I can find. I, I love to go on Teachers Pay Teachers and just look up to see if anyone else has made a curriculum uh, for any of these books. So it goes through the ancient times, the medieval world, the modern world, and the 20th and 21st century. So this one, it's cool. It has like Bible stories and you learn about the crucifixion, the nativity story, the origin of Christianity. So for all y'all that think that secular homeschoolers don't teach about religion, we teach about all religion. And it also has lots of timelines to make it easier to grasp the concept of time, of how long ago a lot of these things were. But yeah, guys, that's everything I have for you guys today. Um, if I find more things, maybe I'll make a part two. But these were definitely the ones that stuck out to me. Uh, also, like I said, I have a bunch of DK books that I recommend. So anything from DK Publishing. But thank you guys so much for watching. Also, all these books will be in my Amazon storefront. If you guys would like to go there to support me, the link is in the description box. It's also on my page, on my YouTube page. So uh, I would really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.